Hi everyone, in this lecture we are going to configure models, migrations and the admin interface. Now in the previous lecture we provided this HTTP request response but we didn't actually take a look at it in the uh, in the web page. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the um, urls.py file within the booklib uh, project itself. So in here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add another um, path that is going to specify, uh, that is basically going to specify the home page for our application. So I'm going to say path. Now the home page is denoted by an empty by a, an empty string, and then it is going to be handled by the home view function. And as a best practice, we need to name our uh, you, path objects as well so i'm just going to name it home as well so let's just save that let's go ahead and let's run the application keep in mind you need to be within the booklib directory then you have the access to the manage.py file so run server uh 3333 it could be anything just provide a comma save this file again it said invalid syntax there we go so let's run this and now here we can see we have this welcome to the book lab app there we go. so now first off let's uh, talk about how we can handle uh, models now we know that models are basically used to represent database tables so we use models just just to abstract away um, and just to not deal with writing SQL uh, statements. Uh, therefore, what I'm going to do is first, uh, I'm going to go to the library application, and from there, I'm going to double click on the models.py file, which for now is empty, and I'm going to close the rest of these two urls.py file. Now, in here, um, what it is that we are actually trying to do so the first thing that we are trying to do is to create a table for authors and then to create a table for books now uh, we know that pure python classes they basically represent database tables in in any kind of relational database management system so as far as we are concerned as python developers is just to create pure Python classes. So I'm going to say uh, class author. Now, all the classes, uh, all the models in Django, they inherit from models.model. From this model class, they, all of them inherit their properties, their attributes from this model class. First, I'm going to provide a column. Now, the author table is going to have one column, and it is going to be a character field. And this character field is going to have a max length. Now, this max length is not going to be 100. It's going to be 255. I'm going to provide it with a string representation as well. And then from here, um, I'm just basically going to say just return self.name. Just return the name of this, um, uh, the name of the author. So this is going to be our first uh, class. I have installed AutoPip 8 within this virtual environment as well. Now the second uh, database table is going to be the book. It's going to inherit from models.model as well and it's going to have two uh, columns. One is going to be the title of the book which is going to be model.char field or character field which is going to be max length uh, 255. The next one is going to be a release here release year which is going to be models dot integer field and then I'm going to set up the relationship uh, the foreign key uh, primary key foreign key relationship to this author the reason that I'm setting this up is I want to have this I want to have access to the name of the authors within this book table so we are going to say author is going to be equal to models dot foreign key and from there we're going to grab our author and we're going to say on delete models dot cascade we know why, why we do that because whenever we delete uh, any author what do we want to do we basically we don't want to end up with orphan books with orphan items or objects 
we don't want to end up with items which are not associated to or which are disassociated from any kind of parent. That's why we basically say when I delete an author, all the all the um, uh, relating books they have to be deleted as well. So so far we have um, we have created our models uh, our classes. Then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into our settings.py file and I'm going to add this library app in here as well. Now from here, the next step would be to run our migrations. The migration's job is to create database tables based on our model classes. And depending on this, we are going to create database tables. Therefore, let me just bring this up. So first off, we are going to say Python. First, make sure to spell it correctly, Python manage.py. Uh, let's make the migrations first, and then we are going to take a look at the migrations. So I'm going to say, uh, now, when the migrations are made, we end up with SQL statements. So it's going to create a model uh, author, and it's going to create a model book. So it's going to create two models for us. Let's take a look at the actual SQL code. So uh, it's going to be manage.py. Uh, it's, this is not going to show us the actual uh, SQL code. This is going to show us the migrations that we, are, we have to do in order for those tables to be created. So show migrations, all the migrations that are pending. So these are all the migrations that are pending currently. Now, you might say, okay, I want to take a look at the SQL code that is going to handle all these migrations. So for that, we are going to say python manage.py. Now, instead of migrate, we are going to say SQL migrate, then the name of the app library. And then if you come in here, you can see this file 0001 underscore initial.py. So this is going to be our initial. First off, let's just take a look at this file. So in here, we can see that it's a class of migration. And it, is, it basically describes the operations that have to be carried out in order for our uh, database tables to, to come into uh, or to be up to date with our model classes. Now in here, it's going to create a table called author with this ID, which is the primary key, and which the Django created for us, and this with this um, column. And then for the uh, table book, we are going to have three columns, and the other column is going to be a foreign key relationship. Now, the SQL code for all of that is going to be 0001, and when you hit enter, it's going to show you all the SQL code. So it's going to create a model author. It's going to, this is going to be represented by create table, library underscore author. It's going to be, it's going to have an ID with all the, um, constraints and data types, then a name with all the constraints and data types. Then it's going to create a book uh, book table with all the with all the columns, constraints and data types. Now it is time for us to actually commit these migrations. So Python uh, manage.py migrate. When you hit enter, it says Okay, we are within there, right? Pepin shell, Python. Oh, manage. Instead of writing manage, I said manage. Okay, that's a typo. So manage dot pi uh, migrate. There we go. I said enter. It says, oh, let's first cd into our book lab application because the uh, Virtual environment was deactivated for some reason and it didn't work like that. So let's hit enter and it's going to apply all the migrations that were pending. Now, if I were to run our server, so manage.py, we should no longer see that message that says these many migrations, they're pending or they're unapplied. So run server. So let me just type it correctly. 3333. 33. What am I writing here? So run server 3333. Let's hit enter. And now you can see we don't have those 
uh, pending migrations being viewed in here. So all the migrations that are done, uh, we could take a look at our database file as well. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to open up the SQLite. Uh, this uh, DB browser for SQLite. It's just it's just going to take one second, and then I'm going to open up that file, our database, which is located in this folder. So I'm just going to grab it db.sqlite. There we go. So I just went ahead and I opened up this db.sqlite. I'm just going to open that up again. And there we go. So these are all the 13 tables that this migration created. We have our library author and library book table with all the columns that we created. So all of this has been done by Django for us. Now we are done with our model classes and with our database now what i'm going to do is i'm going to config the admin so first off let's say python uh, let's just clear this terminal first so first we need to um, handle the super user account so python manage.py uh, create super user let's hit enter now I'm going to say booklib is going to be our super user name, el at el dot el dot cool. The password is going to be this one again. Let's bypass it and there we go. So the super user has been created. Let's go ahead and register our application with the admin interface. So where is the admin? Here is the admin just click on it and let's import our classes first so i'm going to say from this directory's models file import what do we have here so we have uh, the class of author and then we have the class of book i'm gonna bring this terminal down a little bit now to be able to modify those columns within our admin interface, we need to create some uh, classes. But before that, I'm just gonna register it first so we can take a look at the admin. So I'm gonna say register. What is it that we wanna register? Uh, we wanna register the author, just hit author. And the next one is gonna be register, and it's gonna be the book. Let's save that and let's run our server again. So server, let's run it. It's coming here. So if I go to slash admin, we should be able to see login Django at site admin. It was booklib, right? And this is the password. There we go. So it has created this author's uh, model for us or table for us and this books table for us now if I were to add any author I'm gonna I'm gonna add three authors just to show you how we can modify the look of those how they're uh, uh, visualized within our admin interface so I'm gonna say the first one is Khaled Hosseini the second one is going to be add author uh, Stephen King you can see we basically this string representation it comes from our model class for our author when we created we basically said self.name and basically grabbed the name of it and it showed it here and for the third one third author i'm just going to say jk rowling there we go and for the books let's just create a few books as well so i'm going to say a thousand splendid sons uh the release here is 2007 uh, this is the author. Let's just save it. So because we don't have any string representation for our book model, books model, that's why it, it basically says the default book object one. So let's create the other one. It is um, Cujo. It's uh, 1983 and it is by Stephen King, of course. And the other one is going to be and the mountains e-coat. This is year 2013, Khalid Hosseini. Save that. I'm going to add uh, three more books as well. And I'm going to say the Kite Runner. This is going to be 2003 as well by Khalid Hosseini. Let's add the Long Walk. 
So I'm just going to add it. I'm going to say 1979. This is by Stephen King. And the final one is, click on add book, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. This is 1997 by J.K. Rowling. Just save that. So now let's modify this look that we have in our book model. Now to be able to modify that, we need to add two custom classes in here. So on the top, first off, I'm going to create a class uh, that is going to be author admin. I'm just going to name it author, uh, author admin. And this is going to inherit from the admin dot model admin class. Now, what do we want to do here? I'm going to create a variable that is going to be now this the name of this variable is very important. Make sure you just name it list display. Now, in here, you're going to provide a tuple of values. Now, these values, they're going to represent columns within our admin interface. Now, for the author page, for the author model in our admin, what do I want to provide? I want to provide an ID column and a name column. That's it. And then you need to provide that, basically register that class with the model admin as well, with the admin itself. So I'm going to provide author admin. There we go. So that part is done. Let's move on to the next one. And this one is going to, going to be named book admin. There we go. It's going to inherit from admin.modeladmin. And what do we want to do? We are going to say let's display. What are the columns? It's basically a tuple of items. So the first one, I'm going to provide ID. The second one, let's provide title. The third one, let's provide author. And the fourth one, let's provide, where is that release here? Release underscore here. Here. And in here, what I would like to do is I would like to add that book admin as well. So let's save everything. All right. The changes are being detected. Let's come in here. And whenever I reload the page, there we go. So we got the ID, which we added, then the title, then the author, and then the release here. So where is this author coming from? It's coming from the author's table. And in the author's table, we have the ID, and then we have the name. Very good. And for the final thing in this um, lecture, what I would like to do is I would like to browse the uh, data in our author table. So we have author one is Khaled Husseini, two is Stephen King, and the third one is J.K. Rowling. And in the other table, library book, we have all of our um, corresponding books their corresponding authors, their release here. So this belongs to the author number one. This also belongs to author number one, as well as this one. Now this author ID, which is rep which which comes in here, this basically represent or um, denotes or visualize, basically says. Uh, I, I kind of lost the word for it. This shows this relationship, the SQL relational model of uh, structured query language. So we have one table, which is this author, which acts as the parent table to this book table. And from there, what do we want to do? We have basically selected all of the IDs, author IDs, because one author might have more than one column. This is what we discussed in the relational model in the SQL introduction, SQL Essentials course in the introduction chapter. Or section that instead of just adding more columns for more books we grab all of that information and we add it to another table and then we reference the parent table using a foreign key primary key relationship with this our lecture comes to an end see you in the next one